And we are following breaking news out of the NFL where the Los Angeles Rams are signing Bobby Wagner. Our Jason Luck and Fora confirming the money and time, five years, $50 million. The all-pro linebacker will remain in the NFC West after spending the first 10 years of his career in Seattle. He led the Seahawks in tackles six of those 10 seasons, was named to the Pro Bowl in eight of them, and he's seen most tackles since 2012. Well, there is Bobby Wagner at the very top. Let's welcome in our Jonathan Jones, Bobby Wagner, now 31 years old, but was considered to be one of the best remaining free agents out there. Uh, JJ, I know when you were at the owners meeting, Sean McVay was there saying, look, we do have interest in him if we could get the deal done. And sure enough, they do. Yeah, and the Rams were sort of competing with the Baltimore Ravens uh, there. And so Harbaugh was talking about it and he didn't want to dive too much into it. Sean McVay was a little bit more upfront, frankly. Uh, he could have been, and he should have been, and it's because they knew that they had a leg up in the Bobby Wagner sweepstakes. He is an L.A. guy. He knows that division. Uh, he obviously wants a little bit of payback on the Seattle Seahawks, especially how things ended there, how he was not uh, – he did not hear first from the Seahawks. He, uh, I believe, heard on social media, and the Seahawks said, yeah, that that was our bad, but you – you want to make sure that you have everything sewn up there if you're the Seahawks and you are about to release a future first ballot Hall of Famer, one of the best defenders in franchise history, one of the best middle linebackers uh, in the last couple of decades in the NFL in Bobby Wagner. You flashed the stats up there just a little bit ago. The biggest question, of course, is how much does he have left in the tank? I believe that he has plenty left in the tank. He's coming off another Pro Bowl year. We know the Pro Bowl a lot of times uh, has plenty to do with your reputation. Uh, but when I watched him play out there, he wasn't the Bobby Wagner from you know, 2015 necessarily, but he can still get the job done. So he gets a five-year deal with the LA Rams, a team that has about eight, $9 million in cap space. So it averages out to $10 million a year. That's going to be a funny little contract. We're going to see a low sign, uh, excuse me, a low base salary. We're going to see a big signing bonus um, in the first year so that he fits under the cap. Highly, highly doubt we're going to see Bobby Wagner uh, see even the fourth year of this contract. But that's where we stand right now with Bobby Wagner now with the L.A. Rams. I mean, you talk about the Cavs so much. How are the Rams so good at this, making all these deals get done? Well, you know, to, to nerd out for a second here, Amanda, what you have to do is you have to have um, a team owner who is willing to spend so much of that upfront money and not only spend that money in the form of guaranteed money in the form of a signing bonus, which of course is guaranteed money. But you also have to put uh, so much of that money in escrow. That's sort of a, a league rule. So now, uh, you know, when you pay someone $20 million up front, you know, you really have to uh, be able to afford it twice. And so when you're talking about Stan Kroenke, the owner of the LA Rams, one of the richest people on earth, uh, he has the ability because he is so liquid to do that because he has so much money. And so the Rams are able to do that. We've seen the New Orleans Saints get very funky with the cap over the past uh, decade. And it's because when you have that cash flow, you can do it. Any of these other teams can do what the Rams are doing from a salary cap perspective. It's just how much, how fat of a check does that owner want to write? And very clearly with a fresh Lombardi uh, sparkling in their trophy case, the LA Rams are very willing to do it for a player like Bobby Wagner. 16 first team all pros between Donald Ramsey and Bobby Wagner. You said you think he has a lot left in his tank there. There are some saying uh, on social media, some of our own analysts that they're not sure he makes the Rams better. Do you think he makes the Rams better? I think he absolutely makes the Rams better. I, I'm surprised there's even a question that he makes the Rams better. Now, is he going to be able to play at an all pro level for all 17 games? I'm not entirely sure that that's going to be the case, right? He will be, I think, 32 in June. And so, uh, you know, it's very rare that you get better uh, with age. You know, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers can be some exceptions to that rule, but that's at the quarterback position, not really at the linebacker position where we just saw no one has more tackles than Bobby Wagner uh, in the past nine or so years. And so, yeah, I, I, again, he's not still the Bobby Wagner from five or six years ago, but I think he can go out there and absolutely control the middle part of that defense. And when you have Aaron Donald, who is a blue chip player, one of the best to ever do it, when you have Jalen Ramsey behind him, a blue chip player, uh, one of the best corners to ever do, and certainly I believe the best corner 
in the game today. When you have two of the best, one in front and one behind, and you still have enough left in the tank, yeah, this is a very scary Rams defense because every – uh, quarterback is going to have to decide, okay, I have to get the ball out quickly because Aaron Donald is going to be in my lap. Do I want to go short and intermediate? Because if so, Bobby Wagner knows exactly what I'm doing and he very well may be lurking. Do I want to take a shot downfield? Well, I can't go to that side of the field because I have Jalen Ramsey over there. Les Snead and his staff, along with Sean McVay, they have absolutely understood the very basics of the modern NFL. And when you have dogs at every and each level of the defense it makes life so much harder on every opposing offense let's talk about the next move we could see from the rams and know matt stafford's been out there chirping trying to keep obj there what is next that we could see from the rams yeah i mean you know they went out and got Allen robinson in, in free agency they have cooper cup they dealt robert woods it would make sense for obj to come back especially coming off of that acl he has the familiarity he has um, a home there in Southern California. And so that would make a lot of sense. But, you know, if you're Odell Beckham Jr. and you want to get paid and you're looking at this wide receiver market and, and how high it has gone, you may think, all right, you know, a team might be willing to pay me a little bit more than the L.A. Rams. And that's not really a might be. It's really an absolute, even though he's coming off of that ACL surgery. And so for Odell Beckham Jr., it's going to be, okay, do you want to come back and rehab there? Um, and rejoin that team and chase a second Super Bowl championship? Or do you want to go get paid more elsewhere um, and start a new chapter of your NFL career? So that's going to be up to Odell Beckham Jr. I know which one I would pick. If I've already made my money like Odell Beckham Jr., I would certainly enjoy the friendly confines of a place that has treated me well, that I enjoyed, where football was fun again after several years of not having football being very fun for me. Uh, but again, that's going to be all up to OBJ. And bling is always nice. Jonathan Jones, thanks so much for joining us uh, to talk about this. The NFL offseason continues to be a roller coaster. Ram signing Bobby Wagner. How about this reaction from Richard Sherman? The rich get richer, lose future Hall of Famer Von Miller, and gain future Hall of Famer Bobby Wagner. B Wags there. The Ravens made a last minute push, but the reigning champs were too good to pass up. Breaking news, the Rams trying to reload with Bobby Wagner agreeing to a five-year, $50 million deal. So the Rams uh, let one Super Bowl MVP walk, Von Miller. They get another Super Bowl MVP, Bobby Wagner, at the middle linebacker position. Here are some of the notable moves the Rams have made. They also signed wide receiver Allen Robinson. Uh, Matthew Stafford was re-upped for more money, but they did lose Von Miller and wide receiver Robert Woods, who they traded away. Also, Andrew Whitworth retired. Let's bring in Pete Prisco, who's looking more like Bruce Arians each and every day without shaving. Pete, you look good, good and scruffy. Let's start with, uh, let's start with Bobby Wagner and his worth here to the Rams. He's a big name. But he's 32 years old, getting a little long in the tooth. Big name. Is it a big deal for the Rams? Well, I think we got to wait to see what the contract is, though, Chris. I don't, I don't think this is a, a true, you know, deal that will pay him that much money. And when you look at it, it's probably a lot of funny money in it. It'll probably end up being a one- or two-year deal. And is he the same player? No, absolutely not. Bobby Wagner uh, is arguably a Hall of Fame player. I mean, some people will say he is, and I think he's probably leaning in a direction that he will be. He hasn't been that... Uh, for a couple years. I didn't think he played that well last year. Uh, I thought he missed more tackles last year than he has. He wasn't as good rushing the quarterback as he's been, and he wasn't as great in coverage as he's been. The speed is what made Bobby Wagner a great player, and we all know you don't get faster as you get older. So uh, this might be one of those classic examples of name more than game because he's still a solid player. He's just not Bobby Wagner anymore. 31 years old right now, but turns 32 on June the 27th this summer. The Rams are still one of the favorites to do it again uh, in the Super Bowl. They are not the favorite, not even the favorite in the NFC. That would be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Where would you stack up the Rams right now as you see them at 12 to 1 with the fifth best odds to win it all? 
Well, I think, you know, you look at the NFC, and I think on the surface it's a three-team uh, conference. I think it's the Bucks uh, from the south. I think it's the Packers from the north, and, and then probably the Rams uh, from the west. Until San Francisco figures out what they're going to do at quarterback, I think that keeps them in a little bit of flux. Uh, we don't know about Dallas and what they can do to, you know, rebuild that team a little bit after suffering some hits. Uh, and will the, a team emerge? Is there a team that can emerge? But I think on the surface right now, it's a three-team conference. And I think the Rams are, you know, look, they're going to go for it again. And, and, you know, in talking to Les Snead, one of the things he said is, look, we might be ahead of the curve, but this is where the league was going. Uh, you know, teams trying to get these big money guys, the high price guys, and then you have to supplement around them. And the key to that is being able to draft well in the later rounds. And so far, the Rams have been able to do that because if you're very top heavy, it's going to be a real problem if you don't draft very well. But Les Snead has drafted very well, which is why he's able to, uh, you know, fill the roster with some good players behind the big money guys. All right, speaking of rebuilds, where did the Seahawks go from here? I mean, we didn't expect him to return to Seattle, but Russell Wilson gone, now Bobby Wagner gone. Is there anybody left from those great teams? Yeah, Pete Carroll. I mean, and, <laughs> and he's going to get back to playing his style of football. The problem is they don't have the players to do it. We know what Pete Carroll wants to do. He wants to run the ball, and he wants to play great defense. They don't have a great defense, and their offensive line hasn't been good enough in recent years. Now they don't have Russell Wilson to bail them out. Uh, they have major problems. I still think they're going to investigate Baker Mayfield, and they should. Uh, I don't know what they would give up for him. Uh, if not, then they will have to draft a quarterback. I can't imagine they're going to play with Drew Locke uh, for any extended period of time, maybe to open the season if, if they do draft a quarterback. But until you fix that position, which again goes back to what I said when Russell Wilson was traded, you don't trade 33-year-old quarterbacks in their prime, uh, particularly when you're a 70-year-old head coach like Pete Carroll. I wouldn't have done it. I think they're in classic rebuild mode, and it's going to be a long turnaround for that team. I've never seen you with the whiskers, Pete. You, uh, you electric razor guy or straight edge? Oh, no, no. I'm a straight edge guy. I mean, I had some things I had to do this morning, and so I didn't get up and shave. And, uh, you know, who know, who knew that something was going to happen in the National Football League? Oh, I should have known better yeah, because right. it happens every single day, right? <laughs> and last night it was uh, Bruce Arians moving to the front office and Todd Bowles taking over in Tampa. Today it's Bobby Wagner going to the defending champion, L.A. Rams. Pete, thank you so much for the time here on HQ. Breaking news out of the NFL, the Rams signing Bobby Wagner. Our Jason Lock and Fora confirming it is five years, $50 million for him. The all-pro linebacker will stay in the NFC West after he spent the first 10 years of his career in Seattle. Led the Seahawks in tackles six of those 10 seasons and was named to the Pro Bowl in eight of them. So headed to the Rams, taking a look at the Super Bowl odds right now for the reigning champs, the Rams. 12-1 to 1 odds for them right now behind the Bills, the Bucks the Chiefs and the Packers. Let's welcome in two-time Super Bowl champ Brian McFadden joining us on the phone to talk about this. Bobby Wagner headed to the Rams. Let's talk about those Super Bowl odds, BMAC. Does he make the Rams better when it comes to their chances of making it back to the Super Bowl? I think so. I think defensively, clearly he's an upgrade from what they've had at the inside linebacker position over the last few years. Uh, he improves his defense. The defense, I know he will be 32 by the time the season kicks off, but he still has some real good football left to be played. And I think he will showcase that throughout uh, this upcoming season. I mean, you look at the Rams defensively, we know how star studded their offense is. You know, spending top dollars, extending the quarterback, Matthew Stafford, giving a lot of money to Allen Robertson, you know, getting a healthy Cam Akers back. Well, you look at the defense. I don't know, Amanda, if there's another defense in the National Football League that currently has pot three potential Hall of Fame guys in the lineup. And they have a Hall of Fame guy at the first level, second level, and third level, in my opinion. So, yes, he makes them better. So when you look at that, Jalen Ramsey, Aaron Donald, now Bobby Wagner, how he fits in with this and how formidable this group is. He fits in ideally. He's a very, very instinctive linebacker, very knowledgeable, a three-down guy. Uh, he, his best years are not in front of him because he is older, but he still can provide a huge upside from what they've had in years past, as I stated before. So I think, man, making this move, number one, you take – away from a divisional foe. Remember, his entire career was there in Seattle. You take away from the Seattle Seahawks, you add to your defense, and clearly before this move, Amanda, they were 
the number one contending team in their division, but it just adds more fuel to their fight when you add a guy like Bobby Wagner. Oh, by the way, you better believe he will be fired up and he will have some added motivation because the Seahawks decided to tell Bobby Wagner, you're not good enough to fight organization anymore, so you know he will have a big chip on his shoulder. You know he's going to be a little salty about that, especially when they meet. Um, no more Bobby Wagner, and of course at the very beginning, no more Russell Wilson. What's going on there in Seattle? Uh, what is left there, I should say? Not a lot, and I know they might not say it verbally, but I think they're in the, in the beginning of a rebuild. When you allow franchise-like players to leave, Russell Wilson surprised everyone when they decided to trade Russell Wilson back. They got a nice haul for him, but clearly they still have uncertainty at the quarterback position. And now allowing Bobby Wagner to walk, yes, I think they're in the middle, in the beginning of a rebuild. Uh, they still have some nice players on their roster, but if you look at the NFC West, at the pecking order, that is, you would definitely pick the Seattle Seahawks to be fourth in their in in the division right now as we see it today. Brian McFadden, we appreciate it, uh, saying, yes, the Rams are better with Bobby Wagner and, you know, RIP to Seattle. <laughs> All right, coming up next, Bobby Wagner and the Rams agreeing to a five-year deal with $50 million. We'll talk to senior NFL writer Pete Prisco coming up, who says, you know what, I'm not so sure they're that much better with him. We'll talk to him about that next. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.